Well, the second one, if you look at chapter 3, salvation is wanting Jesus more than my sin. Look what it says in verse 19 of chapter 3. Not only is salvation coming to Christ and away from religion and, and, and we repent and receive the Spirit and all that is there, but in chapter 3, verse 19, salvation is wanting Jesus more than my sin. Repent, therefore, of what? Of my sin and, and be converted. Why? That your sins can be blotted out. Look at verse 26. To you first, God, having raised up his servant Jesus, sent him to bless you. How does Jesus bless me in turning away every one of you from your iniquities? This morning, if you and I are born again, we want Jesus more than our sins. And if you don't, then you need to check your operating system and see if that option is on there and turn it on. Because if you don't want Jesus more than your sin, that's the operating system of salvation. And Jesus, like the hymn says, is standing with his arms open wide and he says, if I save you, I change your wanter, and you want me more than your sin. Now, here's a little test. If your operating system is operating the way the Bible says, then Jesus Christ, look at verse 26, has turned every one of us away from our sins, our iniquities. We want him more. Now, they're still alluring, and they're still tempting, and they're still there, and they still sometimes reach out and grab us, and we trip and fall, but we don't like that anymore. It's kind of like the difference between a pig and a, and a sheep. Sheep don't like to get in the mud, and they don't like to get wet, because if they get in that, they sink and they drown. Pigs, they just wallow in it. And when we get saved, our operating system turns from pig to lamb. You understand, there's a complete change in what we want and desire that God marvelously works out.